Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 434. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 431 to 439. Hey, in this trick here, we have a data set with SKU, name, price, quantity, and total. And every time we put a, uh, a new amount here, it's going to calculate over here a certain amount. And the goal here, this person asked, I want to extract all of the records, but only the ones that have a calculation or something in this column over to this shit, sheet. And I want it to be dynamic. I don't want to have to redo advanced filter or filter copy paste. I don't want not, none of that. I want it dynamic. Well, you got to do a, a formula, and this is going to be an array formula. And I have done this same or similar type of data extract with a formula many times. Each one of these has a slightly different variation on it. But parts of the formula are going to be the same in each one of them. The fact that we're using index, for example, and rows function. All right, let's build our um, formula over here. First, we need um, to count. And all I did here is I did count if. And I looked at the uh, column, D, the D column which is this one right here. In fact, um, we'll just do it. We're going to look at this whole column right here. And this could be a huge data set. And our criteria is going to be, in quotes, greater than 0. So that will pick up only the records here that have uh, numbers entered into them. Uh, end double quote, close parentheses. And so there's our formula. We have eight records we need to extract. Now we need that eight there because we need our formula here to copy down only eight rows. But when it gets past eight rows, all of the remaining ones need to be blank. Okay, so our formula is going to be equals if, and then we're going to use the rows function. The rows functions will increment a number inside a formula that we can compare to the eight. So I'm sitting in A5, so I'm going to type A dollar sign 5 colon A5 close parentheses. That's our formula, our number incrementer, when that is less than or equal to eight. And we'll lock that cell reference right there with the F4 key. If that's true, then we want to comma, use our um, index function for extracting records. Now the index, we need an array and a row number. The array is going to be pretty straightforward. The row number is the tricky part where we have to use our small if and row construction to gather multiple records and extract them. But the array, we're just going to click over here. Notice we have SKU, name, price, quantity, total, and we need to extract something from each one of those columns. So watch this. We're going to click uh, over on this sheet and highlight the first column. Remember, the, the field names are in the same order here as they are on our data extract sheet. I click on that top cell, control shift down arrow. F4, and I'm going to F4 again. You've got to have the dollar sign only in front of the number. That way, when we copy our formula down, it's locked on this column. But when we copy our formula on this sheet over the next column, that the dancing ants will move over to this column and to this column and to this column. All right, now we have to type a comma. And now we're on to row number. And I'm actually going to scoot this down here so our formula can uh, ev evolve up there. Row number. This is where we have to do our small. And we're using small because we have multiple matches in this column. Small, and our array is going to be if in this column, control shift down arrow, and we have to hit the F4 and lock it in all directions. If that, oops, I didn't get that right. It's actually all the way down to 19. So watch this. I'm just going to put a 19 right there. Okay, and if that is equal to, because it goes down to 19 down there, if that is equal to, sorry, greater than 0, that if is delivering a true or a false. So we'll get a true, 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 false. False, false, true, true. Okay, so that's inside the array, the, the uh, small. If that's true, what do we want? Comma, the value of true. Remember, we're trying to get row numbers for the index so it can extract, but only when we have a true here. So what do we do? We do use, we use row. And it doesn't matter which one of these you extract. Um, I've already, uh, I'll just pick one. I'm going to pick this one right here because th the each column has the same number of rows. Control shift down our, and I'm going to hit F4. Close parentheses. Now, that won't work because row will give us 
row two, three. So from, from that, we need to subtract row and click right there. F4, close parentheses. Now, right now, that would give us uh, 2 minus 2, which, of course, would be 0. So we have to add 1 back in. Now, this is the part I've done in many other videos. And why do, why do I do that? Why aren't I just highlighting from here down or something like that? Because this construction means we can cut and paste this anywhere we want or insert rows in the top or to the side or whatever and it will still work. It is a robust way of getting the row number uh, for our uh, index function. All right, so you ready? That's the value of true, and it will extract only when there's a number here will it extract the row number. Close parentheses on our if, because we don't need the false. That screen tip gets us back to our small. Now, watch this. If I'm, look, if I'm inside a small and I highlight all of this right here and hit the F9 key, which is evaluate, notice I get a 1, 2, 3, false, 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 7, 9. It's really the 1, 2, 3, the 7, and the 9 I want. Those are the row numbers for the index, because that index has all of the records, and we only want the records 1, 2, 3, uh, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to hit Control Z, but how are we going to do that? As we copy all our formula down, we need to extract the first um, row number, then the second, then the third. Well, we're going to use our same formula incrementer, Control C. Click right here. There's our screen tip, oh so handy, comma, and the K is going to be uh, that formula incrementer. Close parentheses. Now, I've just delivered the row number. I don't need a column number, so I close parentheses. The if um, from our original on off switch for turning this on and off is asking we put our true in so comma and it wants a false well we're going to put a blank when we get past row eight for this particular data set now close parentheses on the if and now we are done we're ready to put this in this is an array formula so hold control shift and enter control shift enter now i'm going to copy this over and then down however far you want. If you're only going to only get a maximum of so many, then you don't need to copy it down that far. Okay, so now we have our data set. And look, 55427, and there's the SKU numbers. We look back over there, 554278. Watch this. If I just, this one gets assigned, it's a, a 15 we sold. Watch on this other sheet, it's going to be 554152. By the way, let me hit escape. It's, right now it's 5542, 5542. Now, if I put a 15, that calculates. We come over here, and now it's 5, 5, 4, 15, 2. That is how amazing this uh, type of formula is, because it really does extract. And if you were to clear these out right here, it gets rid of them over here, and it's still ranked perfectly like it's a perfect little table. In essence, what we're doing is we're simulating what uh, you know a real database does uh, dynamically like access, but we're, we're in Excel, so we have to do these uh, crazy array formulas. All right, we'll see you next trick.